Hey there, YouTubes. Hey there, YouTubes. So, what are we doing here? What are we doing? It's just uh, so much to murder and kill. I mean, uh, not murder. <laughs> so, we got lots of attempts to go. We got lots of stuff we can build. So much we can do. Ah. Should probably level a roll fault, right? Yeah, we're getting closer to the mark there. Uh, if we actually farmed up enough gold right now, we will get this to the next level today. Um, it's a thought. That's a lot of gold to farm. We could gem it the rest of the way. Gemming that much is not fun, though. How much... How long would this take to build? So tomorrow we could do it and spend 30 less gems. Is that really... Worth it? How many gems are we going to get tomorrow anyway? So for our daily reward, 20 gems. <coughs> I don't know if it's worth it, so maybe we could just, I don't know, maybe gem it. Get that up to the next level. Because once we get that up to the next level, then we have nothing to worry about with both sides. They're not going to attack through these walls. They, these walls are going to be three thick on both sides. There's going to be no issue from anything attacking over here, except air. And we've got things to deal with air, so we are going to be fine. Now, if we do that, if we do this, what else should we worry about? We're going to need more mana then. So we're going to need to get more mana so we can get a uh, higher level. So let's let's follow this line of logic. So what you got to do is you got to figure out uh, your next line of attack. We are looking definitely to get this town hall up. The sooner we get our town hall up, the quicker we will progress. And that's just, that holds true all the way until you hit level 20 uh, town hall. So, <laughs> uh, we're obviously a bit away from that, but you know, the closer we get, the better. So, uh, things that we need. So I, I can see that we definitely need to get some hero bases up still. And this one should definitely come underway. We definitely need to get our arrow towers up. But that's gold as well. All this gold we have to spend. Lovely. Okay, but we have higher level arrow towers now, so we're doing a little bit better. Once we're at all se level 7 arrow towers, we should be quite a bit better, I believe. So, what else? We got all this additional stuff here. And I think we've got some... Yeah, some little slimes we can eat, but I don't think there's anything we really care to feed them to. Let's take a look at our uh, levels here. The only thing maybe Thunder Guy could eat a few, just so we can clear up some space. I'm okay with Thunder God getting to the next level soon. <laughs> so, and those are nothing. So, we're trying to get Thunder God up. Yeah, Thunder God is our, our main man. And very soon Thunder God is going to be in the 80 plus range, so we're good there too. Should we buff him up a little bit more? Well, why not? I don't see a reason to not get that a little bit out the way, so it's not congesting what we have. Okay. Mm, we could do some C's. Or we could do all these. If we do C's, we're going to get rid of our towers. And we're going to get rid of uh, this little thing. We're probably going to get rid of an engineer as well. And just let our three level up. Power level them. That's a possibility. Could be worth it. Could be worth it. Yeah. But our biggest thing is we got lots of gold farming to do because we haven't been winning as many Ds as we would preferred. So we got to get that going. So let's get some of our stuff underway here. <coughs> some of the things that we need to do. We should maybe th start thinking about getting our hero altar up because as soon as any of our guys die, it's going to take forever for them to respawn. So we got to think about getting this up to maybe... But first, let's uh, try and get uh, this underway. How long would that take? We did that four hours, so tomorrow we'll respawn a little faster. But let's uh, let's uh, get some attacks underway. Let's uh, 
some of that stuff. In a, I'd really love not to spend as many gems because I'd love to start. You know, <coughs> we really need to get some better heroes. But we do need our base to get up as well, so we've got time constraints to deal with. All right, so this one looks like they're pretty much all defending that corner. <coughs> we can come in fairly easily and get to there. They should be dead by Thunder God by the time we get there, and they're all fairly low level, so it's it should be no problem for our heroes once we get there. It's not the <coughs> highest amount of gold I've seen, so yeah, but we'll take it. I just don't feel like hopping around 20 times to find <laughs> something. Just we'll take what we can get. Thunder God misses everyone. What are you doing, Thunder God? Come on. There you go. You finally hit them. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, we can get 100% here and get the good amount of EXP. Because we need it. And we got a lot of HP, so oh man, we really just need to get Thunder God up. <clears throat> and potentially we could level Engineer 2. If we could just save that HP right now, it would be better. <clears throat> so let's see what we can do. The thoughts here are to get the murder on. How to get the murder on. Get a Lana core up in there, and then everything else can come in. It's not like Lana core has to tank that much. Pretty sure Drew could have tanked that just fine, even probably better. We know what our issue is. We know we're not doing as much damage as we need to. And <coughs> we need to address that. And I'm guessing most of you have ran into the same issue where you feel like you're just not doing as much damage as you need to. And that is very true. If you don't have the right heroes, you're not going to be pumping out the correct amount of damage. <coughs> we do have a fairly decent setup maybe for um, heavy monsters, though, with having an Atlanta Core, though. So it's potential that an Atlanta Core could be useful just in that sense alone. But uh, maybe I should... Uh <coughs> get that guild going like I said I was going to do and get some more HP but it's not like this town has HP issues per se so because I don't play on it that often but still it's a, you gotta think about it you know alright we got the full clear we got the gold that's just not worth it it's there a little bit more effort than I would like, but let's do it. So if we bring a Lanacor right here, that should get the attention of pretty much everything. <coughs> now, as long as Lanacor doesn't die, we'll be okay. There you go. Now this one, I don't know if I want to go for the full clear, especially with all the stuff being here at the end. It's a bit of a time waster. Now you can see they're using their uh, their might points on garrisoning their towers. <coughs> but we're not going to go down that path too much. I know we do have some garrisons, but I'm going to try and stray away from that for the first little bit. Because then your EXP is being getting split up too much, and you know, that sucks. You want the EXP to go to your heroes. Alright, we can get out of that. Alright, looking good there. Alright, so what else we got? It's going to take forever and a day to get that, but we can also get for our mana going, possibly. We do need mana to get up there because we need to get our hero bases up, but we also need our towers up. Well, there's so many things I want to level. Uh, yeah. Alright, I think we're gonna maybe even take the hit of leaving early because all the gold is pretty much right there. I don't know if it's worth it to stay in longer than what we have to. And just get the gold and bounce, right? Yeah, especially since 
Thunder God's taking some damage there. No reason to stay. All right. Another set of gems. <clears throat> now this has enough gold to make it worth it. So if we come in here, and I think we just get everything in right away. Atlanta Core is going to split up their aggro just a little bit. And there you go. Was, uh, <laughs> because Atlanta Core ran over to the Griffins, um, it made it so the other set of Griffins had to follow Atlanta Core, so they never really got any chance to attack him. Which is awesome. Okay, we're gonna should be able to chew through this pretty quickly. That'll be good. Right, we might lose Druid, so we gotta keep an eye on that. Okay, we're getting too close for comfort. I don't care about failure. We got a good chunk of gold. I just didn't want to lose Druid. I could have risked it, but I'm not going to do that. Once we lose Druid, it becomes harder to farm. Uh, sure. So if we bring in most of these things over here and one over there, we'll be fine. I don't even know if we care. So once again, we can back out early. It will take a little bit of hit on our HB. Oh well. Under God, taking a little pain. A little bit more. Now we got to back out. We have to. Okay, so we're coming along, only a little bit more. Uh, gold farming is never fun, but let's do it anyway. So, the thought here is pretty much everything's over here, so we should come in from this end. Now, Too many people try and protect their insides. You gotta. Uh, it's obvious that this person has to play down a bit because their mana mills are full. So maybe they stop playing the game. I released some uh, little guys, didn't I? Okay, are we taking too much damage? Are we fine? We're fine. Alright, there's only 12,000 more gold, and that's not too much to care about. So we can pretty much back out now. Once we just do a little scratch damage, we should back out. Hopefully they target that uh, gold vault. There you go, Thunder God. There you go. Good stuff. Now we're out. So, now the thought here is... We gotta start making preparations for upcoming patches. There's gonna be some changes. I don't think it, once again, smurfing seems to be the best way to go. And I don't see a reason to stop smurfing at this point. Still currently smurfs have it best. But someday soon they won't. They'll have uh, an issue. So we just gotta. They keep nerfing snurfs. <laughs> snurfs. Smurfs. Each time it seems. They nerfed him with the might buff. Getting buffs for might. They nerfed him with the additional base. Uh, additional hero base. They nerfed him. They just keep nerfing him. But, you know. Of course they're gonna probably nerf him again at some point. So we gotta just think of how to. If it's still worth it to be a smurf, or it's best to start doing something else. Okay, we, you guys need to stop hitting Engineer. <laughs> engineer does not want to take damage. Alright, now we're getting to the gold. It seems smurf is still the best way to go, and it's going to be the best for a bit, I think. Once you get your core bases up, you can then start being semi-smurf. Just purposely get to 16 on all those bases and then stop. Call it quits there. Alright, we're backing out. We're not going to lose Engineer. Because that's just you... 
you, unless you have a Smurf already. If you have two accounts and one's a Smurf, go ahead right away and build that up because you can just have your main attack your Smurf. And if you don't know how to do that, in the bottom right hand corner there's that uh, little trophy symbol. Click on that to see what page you're on for your Smurf. Then log on to your main, type in that page number, and then attack your Smurf. And ta-da, you just killed your Smurf. <laughs> a corner base setup. They didn't need that fourth layer. They could have gone without it. Now let's see what happens when you just put in Thunder God and let Thunder God work his way through. Potentially, Thunder God should just strike over here at some point. <coughs> at some point. But I don't know, Thunder God has been not wanting to hit heroes recently, it seems. Or towers. And that's why I really like Minotaur. Minotaur just there you go, Thunder God. Finally you're gonna prove me wrong. Good job. <laughs> But yeah, Thunder God, for me, hasn't been pulling his weight as of late. Even on my main, I'm just going to have to sideline him for, like, something else. Which is sad, because I really buffed him up pretty hardcore. <laughs> Got some good damage here, though. So let's see if we bring in some, uh, some of our... Uh, off. Their towers aren't even that high, so we're not really taking that much damage. But their heroes could potentially do a little bit of damage. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, they might kill Lanacor, possibly. Alright. Okay, we're good. We can go for the full clear, I guess. Get that EXP, but we don't want Thunder God to die, so we gotta keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. Nope. Gotta back out. <coughs> okay, pretty much all the gold and mana's here, so there's... All we gotta do is really just hit here and then back out. This kind of base set was very common back in the day when people thought that the <coughs> they wouldn't attack when there's no walls. But usually people learn right away that that's not the case. People can attack from back there. Hopefully everyone knows that by now. Especially from just watching my videos and when I attack them from behind. Alright, that's interesting that they put their cannon there. Uh, like that. But we should be able to get the gold that we would like and get out. Uh, I'm really tore. Am I going to use those gems and get that town hall? Or am I going to use those gems for a hero? we get that town hall up. There's a lot of benefits to doing that. We'll soon have a, another tower. There's all this stuff that's going to help us. But <sighs> this helps us in the long run getting this up. Heroes, of course, help us too in the long run. But there's so much RNG in it, and we've been so unlucky. Uh, I, can't, I can almost not justify getting a hero. That's sad. Because <laughs> my rolls have been so horrible. That's sad where you're scared to do a 
a hero roll because you've been <laughs> having such bad luck with rolls. Yeah, I mean... You sort of want to do both. You sort of need both. You need to get that town hall up and we need to have hero rolls. So if I knew I was getting gonna get a good hero, I'd definitely do a hero roll. But how many bad rolls can I have? I mean at some point I gotta get some good luck here. <laughs> At some point, they gotta give me a good legend. Right? They can't hate me forever. <sighs> well, here's what we gotta do. So, if I do not get... A good legend. I got to get these mana vaults up so we can have uh, better hero bases. If I get a legend, still same thing. That's the path I'm going to have to take. So if I'm going to roll for heroes, I have to level my mana vaults so then I can get my hero bases up. Either way. If I go for a town hall, I wonder what I should level this up. I mean, at this point, this is no brainer that that needs to get leveled. It's what to do with those last two, that's a question. Uh, I want to try for here because we really badly need a hero. I mean, it's just really, really badly. We definitely need to get a, a legend, but the likelihood is so small. Uh, but we have to try. You have to use your gems for legends. We'll have some more gold. We'll work a little bit harder and we'll get that. We'll get it up. We need a legend. We really do. But oh, my RNG, come on, please. Bag, 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 bag. Be good. Holy sh nozzleberries. <laughs> now that is a good freaking roll. Especially since that one is like nearly impossible to get. That and Cupid. Those two are the bane of my existence in my other accounts. So, that would be a good roll. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> it. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're going to be doing D and E soon now. Easily. Uh, we just got to level that sucker up. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Good thing we didn't spend any of our uh, honor badges on uh, <coughs> Engineer, because we need them all for this guy. <laughs> now, if he has Berserk or Revite, a uh, really high Revite, that would be really, really, really good. <coughs> so cross your finger, guys. This is the moment of truth. What do we got on him? What do we got him? Berserk. Holy sh A four or five. That's <coughs> one away from being perfect. <laughs> That's one away from being perfect. I am okay with this. I won't even re-roll that. He could keep that for a long time. <laughs> this is going to be a skill for, I mean, foreseeably to the end of this account, <laughs> probably. That is a really good roll. I mean, that is... that. <coughs> <laughs> oh my god you guys see this oh yeah oh I well pff, I've, I guess when you have sh cruddy rolls for a very long time the game rewards you with one decent hero <laughs> oh, um yeah uh, this is what you call a good roll <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've had such bad luck forever. Oh, 
I thought I was doomed to roll cruddy forever. What the heck is this? Oh, not only is it a pumpkin duke, but a four or five berserk. That is insane. The only, I mean, four or five berserk is right along the lines of like a two or three revite. So for arena and for here be monsters and for boss battles and for everything, this is like the skill for that pumpkin duke is that that's just ridiculously overpowered. He's just, he's gonna stack and stack and stack. I can't believe I got lucky. I don't even know how this is possible. This is awesome. I don't think you guys under some of you understand how 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 lucky I am here. Others probably don't. Berserk on a pumpkin duke, ridiculously overpowered. I on my main account, it's sad. I have a one of five berserk pumpkin duke, and I'm happy with that. A one of five berserk pumpkin duke. I would like to take this and throw it on my main account. <laughs> I would like this on my or even even my Smurf account would love this. I mean, this is extremely overpowered. This is awesome. I mean, this guy, I his that skill is going to remain on him for a long time until I can get five of five berserk. And I don't the amount of gem rolls it would take to get five of five berserk is just ridiculous. So I this is a natural pumpkin duke with four or five berserk. I couldn't be any happier. <laughs> that is, I mean, of course, five of five, but that's like <laughs> you were Gandhi in the previous life or something. You, you know, some some guy was really nice. <laughs> some guy who lived as nice. I mean, what the heck? Seriously, uh, that that's how you do a roll. <laughs> I mean, what? Uh, I'm speechless. I don't even, I don't even know how to organize my heroes now. Uh, 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 yeah, um, um, well, you're gonna get, uh, um, <laughs> I just, I pumpkin do this. This is awesome. Four or five berserk. I, this killed all my plans. <laughs> when you get something so overpowered, it changes your gameplay, what you're going to be doing, and what you have to look for next. It, it changes everything. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, I got so many melee. Oh. I'm really melee heavy. I'm going to have to put Engineer on the end. No longer is Engineer as important anymore. He can die now and it's not going to matter as much. Because uh, the Thunder God slash Pumpkin Duke combo. Pumpkin Duke is just going to be going off like crazy. A 4 or 5 Berserk. He's going to be maxed energy in just a matter of moments. And then maxed energy again. He's going to be going off like there's nothing. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm trying to comprehend the odds of what just happened. <laughs> I mean, I, I know I've been rolling bad forever. Maybe if you roll bad forever, you'll get a really good one. And maybe that's how the game works. I don't know. Oh, it's I the odds. What someone's got to calculate the odds of that happening. That's got to be like I just won the lottery or something. Man, this is, that's crazy. I I don't. It's I'm speechless. I but there's no words for this. It's just crazy. I gotta level this up now. I really. Now we're not even going for gold. We're going for exp. This is going for EXP time. No. But there's enough gold here to go for that as well. <laughs> but oh my god. This is going to be insane. Oh, this changes everything. Pumpkin Duke. Make, watch, just watch how fast he gains energy. Look at this. And he's low level. And look how fast his energy is just building. He's going to die here, but I don't care. It's... 
everything's just gonna do more damage and it's gonna hit harder. And if we can get a, a Cupid, oh my god, we're gonna just, we might change away from being a Smurf. Uh, we're gonna have to, oh, we lost Thunder God, oh well. Oh, I just don't know. I can't wait 15 minutes for Thunder God, can we? I'm gonna have to gem him. We need the XP. How are we looking on the XP, by the way? I can do get a little bit from that, but we didn't get enough because it wasn't a victory. Okay, so we're going to look for ones that are easy kills. We're no longer farming for gold now. We're farming for e easy kills. They got a pumpkin dupe, too. I don't think they understand how powerful this account is. They really need to level their account because pumpkin duke is very rare. If you have a pumpkin duke on your account, you're doing very good. You just don't know it yet. Okay, so... We should be able to clear through this fairly quickly. Pumpkin Duke is going to give him a little bit of... Oh, we gotta get his, we got to get his special up. Pumpkin Duke needs some buffs on his special. And we just fed a whole bunch of stuff to Thunder God. We really need to feed Pumpkin Duke instead. Pumpkin Duke really needs uh, more. Look how fat he's stacking the buffs a little bit. Starting to. Oh my god, if we can just... Yeah, once we get him buffed up some more, he's going to be ridiculously overpowered. Uh, we're not going to go for the full clear. I guess we're going to just get gold on this one. Fairly. We can see if, you know, we get enough gold to how much it's going to cost to gem that rest. We might get close enough to be able to just do it um, with the amount of gems we have. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. We might might be able to do it. Maybe we can get both. Oh, this person has a little miniature set up. Now they have some stuff in the center that is of note. But I think if we come in here with the Atlanta core, that should get uh, some aggro. Now we just got to really keep an eye because it looks like their towers do hit a little bit more powerful. So we got to just keep an eye on this. Now hopefully our Thunder God turns around and yeah, hits him really hard. And our Pumpkin Duke should be going off too. Our Engineer might be in trouble. Oh, they did kill our Engineer. Keep an eye on our Thunder God. Ugh. It's okay that we lost Engineer. I'm not going to revive him. How are we coming along? If we do it now, yeah, it's, it, uh, we'll be close. Tomorrow we can do it. Well, we should level up a tower since today we're not going to be able to gem that. We should uh, get a tower going. This is going to be crazy. Oh, uh, there is. And then uh, tomorrow when we come back, this is going to be at the next mount. So we can use even less gems to uh, get the uh, town hall to go. Oh, if we can get a Cupid. Oh, this account would be so beautiful. <laughs> we got a Pumpkin Duke. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm still dumbstruck on that. I'm like trying to comprehend what just happened. I... Uh, I... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. I'm confused. <laughs> uh, so if you got a pumpkin duke on your account, you did good. <laughs> you got a Cupid on your account. You did good. You're halfway to having an account that really, really matters. <laughs> if you got both of them, you did really good. You can get everything else. You'll be fine. You can farm that other stuff. You really need Pumpkin Duke and Cupid. Oh, so uh, towers? If we get the towers all up to seven, <coughs> we'll be okay, right? So we just need... A tower, and if we get another tower going, that really would do extremely good if we got a second tower going. If we, if we can do that, that'd be good. Either a tower or get uh, a mana vault going. Take three days for that. Well, this one would be done tomorrow, wouldn't it? Yeah, that one would be done tomorrow. So 
So either we get a mana vault going for our next one, or we get a tower. And then we can start farming the gold that we're going to need. And we should probably hide this in here when we're done. <coughs> so people won't steal our gold. So we don't have to farm as much gold tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. Oh, and then are we going to sacrifice that uh, that uh, hero? Are we going to sacrifice the uh, marksman? I mean, the marksman isn't going to do much in the tower right now because he doesn't have. God, how many shards we got? That's enough to get Pumpkin Duke on his way. We really need to get Pumpkin Duke on his way. Pumpkin Duke is extremely important. And when I mean extremely important, I mean... God, we need to get his power. Look, at he's only at 10 right now, but watch what he does when we get him up to his next level. He's going to be just balling, man. Look at that. He's going to be just like, ha, 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 ha. Boss people up, man. This is going to be just... We can feed him that druid. That druid I was initially thinking of feeding to this druid. Yeah, you know what? You know, getting that druid something better would be good on us. So I, but now I'm gonna feed it to this. I'm pretty sure of. So that means we just need a bit more shards, four thousand more, and we can get to that next buff level. We can get a twenty, and man, it'll be. I don't think you guys. Some people understand what happened here. Some. So people get the rareness of what just happened. The exceedingly, exceptionally, crazy, ridiculous odds that we just broke getting that. To get not only that uh, that character, that, that, that particular legendary hero, but also then to get that particular secondary skill. Man, this account's got a Cupid. They're doing really good. It's just crazy. So they got a Thunder God. Some other stuff. I'm probably just going to have to get the gold here and back out. I like how often we're going to get buffs. This is going to be... Watch. A buff. Oof. And then it's just quick. And <coughs> what we can do is later on we can use Pumpkin Duke to tank. And he'll get more buffs even faster. And it'll be awesome. Easy. I'm just thinking about what we can do now. What this has opened up for possibilities. We're gonna be getting E sooner because of that. Atlanta core is gonna become more worthless now because we're gonna become more of just a damage dealing team and not really requiring him for that last phase to be appropriate because that's the odds that we're playing right now and that's why we're not being so consistent with farming D and my other accounts have been consistent with farming D because we're relying on Lanacor to go off on the last and that's Lanacor isn't that reliable it's not going to go off when you want it to or sometimes it will and that's why we got <coughs> the 50 50 percent victory ratio we could be doing better if we weren't relying upon that <clears throat> and now we're in the path to do that. So <clears throat> we're going to be able to do that soon. And that's that's going to be interesting. What does that mean for us? That is a good question. This is... This is interesting. I'm... Trying to calculate what this is going to actually do for us. <clears throat> it seems a little crazy. It's... Going to be interesting. We didn't wait long enough. Uh, we don't have Pumpkin Duke in here getting EXP. Should have waited just a moment. Well, let's just get a little bit of gold. Let's get to 50% and we'll back out because we have to. Because we need, we need our Pumpkin Duke getting EXP. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, maybe we should just level our... Pumpkin Duke is going to die more frequently when we're farming. It, it, it's a chance that happens. Unless we're going to be willing to spend gems. Uh, 
but he's going <clears> to, <throat> once we get him up to some higher levels, he's going to be ridiculous. He's going to go off so often and just buff the heck out of our, all of our heroes. So, this is going to be interesting. This has changed our gameplay a bit. <laughs> they had a revive on, a revive on that end. On that uh, executioner. Okay, we're almost at fifty percent here. Come on, there you go. We don't need to get that last little bit. We need a pumpkin. Oh, should we just use that and get lots of gold for the next day to get this? I think that's the path we're gonna have to take. I think that's what we should do. Although it would be nice to have another tower up. It would be nice, but I think we should take that route because we don't want to wait that long for things to get back up and running. And we're going to need gold to level Pumpkin Duke because he should be leveling a bit more <coughs> now. Hmm. If we tower that... for us there. I don't think it does as much. If we tower it over here. Then I think it does a lot more. Having both of them towered on this end and having the two heavy hitters over here. Oh, but this is crazy. This has changed our gameplay up. Dramatically. That's a lot of gold. So let's just uh, come on in. And also our, our hero is going to do more now that he has that higher buff. Take a look at what they can do and how fast they can move now. It's been increased. Now of course we'll keep Pumpkin Duke alive longer the <coughs> more we do with him. That was a good chunk of gold there, too. But we're about to lose. Thunder God. Not going to do that. Okay, we've got a minute to wait. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, we should change up our, uh, our team for defending our arena team. So, we need to change it up. And we need to attack differently. So edit. We're going to need... I think if we change it... Let's go bottom. And, that. and then we put Pumpkin in the background. Just to make sure that Pumpkin <coughs> still makes it. But when Pumpkin Duke goes off, and he's going to, let's see what happens. I, I want to see. We got to challenge someone. Target's currently in the middle of battle. Fine. <coughs> this one runs the risk of being able to hit our guy, but it doesn't matter that much. Let's see what we can do with our new uh, setup. Hopefully, we're not going to run into them. I'm putting my Pumpkin up front, so we did not run into them. So let's watch how fast Pumpkin Duke can get his stacks going. <coughs> And we would win a ton more uh, arenas now if we had a succubus. We might want to now farm for a succubus. And use that in place of Lanacor. Ah, just watch them say he's, he's stacking his buffs already. It's nice. And we can, we can get his buffs up even more. He'll be even more powerful. It's just... And you can see that this is fairly powerful. I think this is going to be... We're going to be able to start doing arena with this setup now because we have... Oh, I, we should have moved Pumpkin da Duke back some. We could fight this team again and most likely beat this team uh, if we go after their... 
because um, they pretty much got a stun team there. So let's do this team again. They're way more powerful than we are, but I think we have a chance of beating them if we play around with our, our setup. So let's put all our heavy, as long as they don't have an exploding ninja, which is a possibility they might have an exploding ninja, and if they do, well, we're going to be screwed a little. So we're putting our pumpkin duke in back because our pumpkin duke runs fast and we don't want him up in front. So right now everything else is taking the aggro and should survive. Ooh, we lost uh, that was Thunder God there. That's fine. Thunder God isn't that important to us. Now we really need the buffs to start going off fast here. We need the buffs. Come on. Got one. Come on. Get two. It's bad that we lost Thunder God. Ugh, yeah, Thunder God was a bad loss. Oh well. We were definitely fighting out of our league there, though. <laughs> but, back to leveling. <sighs> Maybe we should just get the rest of our levels with farming D. But that guy is not going to last that long in D. We just need him 20 plus, maybe 40. Wow. Just come with Thunder God for a little bit. And hopefully Thunder God procs in the center. We really need Thunder God to just proc. There you go. There you go. Now you get your butt in there. With all of them attacking on that end, we should be able to bring Pumpkin Nuke over there, and Pumpkin Nuke is just going to build up his stacks. Thunder God, don't you die at me. Oh, it's fine if he dies. We should probably stop farming at this point anyway and start doing some Ds. Boom, that last shot. <laughs> oh, well. the 100% clear here though. Now the question is, should we do a D or should we do a C? I think we should do a C. The four legends. Get their EXP up. We should do a C. So we get rid of Engineer out of the equation. We just level these guys and we take everything out of the towers. And we can do a C no problem. There should be no issue in doing a C. I'm almost <coughs> tempted to get rid of the Lanacore out of the equation. But we'll stick with what we have. Let's do a C. There should, there should be a guaranteed victory here. There should be no problem whatsoever getting a C done. In fact, we should probably switch the hero bases and put Pumpkin Duke on the higher level hero base. Because he is more important than Engineer now. Crazy, right? Oof. It's really nice when... uh. Pumpkin, as soon as Pumpkin Duke goes off, it's pretty much level over. Not guaranteed if Pumpkin Duke is the only thing, last thing left, but if Thunder God and Pumpkin Duke are up, it just it really buffs Thunder God quite well. They are split up, so this is going to do a bit more damage to us than normally we would allow for. But here is the buff. And that should mean that we are doing a good chunk more damage. <coughs> there you go. And look, Pumpkin Duke is ready to go off again. Uh, it's just, he feeds himself, and unlike Cupid, Cupid can only go off so often. Pumpkin Duke can just go off and go off and go off and go off and go off again. Pumpkin Duke rocks. Ooh, 
they are targeting Druid. But I don't think they're going to make it to him. Especially now that uh, Pumpkin Duke is going off. Look at that. And then he's, just, he's just starting to buff himself up for that next point to go off again. <sighs> he's awesome. Now they're going to probably attack the wall here. And we do not have anything really to stop them from doing said wall attacking. Other than just our arrow towers. And that's why we want to get to that next town hall level to reduce the chances of that happening. It's, you know, it's, it's a chance. It's there. It can happen. We know about it. <coughs> Hopefully they target our Atlanta core here. Hopefully the Atlanta core gets out there and does something. But I don't see wave 5 being an issue. Because Pumpkin Duke is all revited up and ready to go. And we have all our towers up so even with that wall being down it doesn't matter and they're gonna go through that wall they're, they should go through that hole pumpkin duke go off pumpkin duke go off maybe it might matter <laughs> there you go <laughs> I guess we can do it with just uh just a uh, druid, maybe. Uh, this is going to be a harder one to do. Might not get it. That's crazy. Uh, druid is powerful enough to do it on his own. <coughs> yeah. I was figuring that Druid could carry the team. And I was right. Druid is just high enough at this point to... I think maybe even do see on its own. Or definitely two man C. So let's uh, go again. And, but not go again just yet. We should have had enough. Yep. There you go. Look at that. It's gonna. It's what we need. Of course, we're gonna need just uh, some some good luck here because we need to get. I'm going to nuke that 4,000. And if we moved... Got rid of Lanacor. Lanacor doesn't need the experience here. Just three man it. I think maybe that's what we're going to do for the next one, because I don't know, the land, of course, is alright, but it's not, you know, my hero of choice, the land, of course, it's really not my hero of choice, because it doesn't do anything except when all the bases are gone, and then it tanks, which I would prefer that not to happen. If we kill everything fast enough, in which we can now, we're, we have a pumpkin duke. We can now, the DPS output is going to be there. We're going to be able to just straight up murder things. Look at this. Having a Lanacor here could be worth not having now. We could go back to having the marksman, I guess. But Atlanta Core is definitely good to still have for for other reasons. Hopefully Thunder God goes after that group of trees that are breaking through our walls, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. Thunder God, you gonna hit them? Or you can just, you know, allow our towers to do all the work. close for comfort <laughs> still did it though <clears throat> but yeah too close for comfort there <laughs> yeah all right now the buff I 
love the buffs. It's just look at that, and everything just dies so so nicely. It's just like we don't need a land of core anymore at this point. If we can get another really good damager, we don't need a land of core. Land of core, gore, go bye bye. <laughs> just look at them; they're all refighting up. It's just. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah. Especially the higher levels we get on Druid. Not Druid, uh, Pumpkin Duke. <coughs> so it'll just be crazy. Okay, how far did we get him up? 31, not bad, not bad. But now if we get... I really need to... Atlantic War, I'm sorry, we're just not going to use you anymore right now. So, put this hero base over here. Move, sorry. Move, no, Thunder God. No, no, no. We're gonna keep mm, keep Thunder God in the center, but move Pumpkin Duke in another way. So, no, no. How we should move Pumpkin Duke is get him on a better base. He needs he needs to be on a better base. So we can just empty this one out and we're gonna put that at the end. We're gonna move Druid in and have the lower level base on the end. We're gonna put Pumpkin Duke here. And we're gonna three man this. We got Druid. We got Thunder God and we got Pumpkin Duke that should be able to do it with these three. Quite sure we can three man this now. But just to be on the safe side we'll throw out some bombs. We're not gonna be too picky about it. The side that's the weakest is down here, so we'll put the majority down there. He got I'm just trying to... Looking good, looking good. And let's just uh, run with that. Let's three-man C. That should give us a large chunk of EXP to our Pumpkin Duke. And then we can start doing some uh, Ds now. Because that Pumpkin Duke should stay alive. We also need a little bit more on his special. Just, a little, just a, get a special up to the next level. and. We'll be doing fine dandy. Because once he, his special starts stacking, and we get like three stacks of his celebrate, oh my god, Thunder God just lays down him like, bo -bo 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 -bo. I mean, you see lightning everywhere. <laughs> it just becomes overpowered at that point. And you can see how quickly he gets his uh, revited up again. So this is what we're, what we're looking for, what we wanted. You can see how quickly we cleared that up. They didn't even really do that much damage to our to our bases, so we got revited up on that. I don't. Pumpkin Duke doesn't need to be re revited up as much, even though it's nice that he, he's revited up. With him having that uh, Berserk, it acts like he's revited up. It acts like a, a 3 of 5 revite. Or a 2 of 5 revite, somewhere in there, somewhere in that range. <coughs> it acts like. Just because how quickly he gets it going. I think he gets it going again. Look, so he went off, and now he's about to go off again. You see that? Isn't that... He just boom, and boom, right there again. It's just... That berserk on him is just... This has become a very powerful account. Beyond a doubt, this went from being a ee, account to... Oh my god, account. <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> So am I happy I spent those gems? Yes. 
But I was on the fence on it, and for a good reason, because I've been having such horrible rolls. But now I can't say I have horrible rolls. Somehow, that one makes up for every cruddy roll I've ever had. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> An explosion can still kill uh, Pumpkin Duke. But, you know, that's he's still low level. But, ooh, that's a lot of EXP. He's going to be at 40 now. Upgrade. Now, we can just do one more C, one more C, and then we should be able to do some Ds. He should be good enough to be doing Ds now, I think. And we should be able to get him uh, some maybe to the next level we will get him after we farm some other stuff later we're gonna I think next week or ne next week next day we should be getting him to this next level of celebrate so right now we can get a champion and he's only then gonna be a smidge away from it Did I pick? Yeah, I picked the right one. Yeah, only a thousand away. He's gonna be there. Which we're already uh, within range. We could get a few of these and get it right up close to it. So this is puts it at uh, <coughs> 600, and then you just need a few more points. So if we get it, we can get it today. If we if we win the next few battles, including the D battles we're planning on doing. So we could we could have it potentially today at the next level. And just how powerful that is, I just I can't state how powerful that is. It's just it, this is really gonna become good. We're gonna be at E very shortly. We're on the path to hitting E. And we're probably gonna I don't know if I wanna keep um Marksman we can bring down our might some and also maybe get rid of shaman get rid of marksman and shaman we are going to keep angel though angel is uh, worth it I think in my opinion <laughs> they're all revited up this is just when this is the power of and this is why if you have cupid and pumpkin duke and uh, Reaper, you could buy potentially three man G if you have high enough level uh, heroes. Of course, isn't that crazy? Thinking you can three man G, you could also do it with a uh, Re uh, not Reaper, but um, a Spirit Mage instead of Reaper. It, it just, the power of Pumpkin Duke and Cupid together is just. And if you have a, a berserked <laughs> Pumpkin Duke. How many of you out there have Berserk on your Pumpkin Duke? And what level? <sighs> Does anyone have a 5 of 5 Pumpkin Duke with Berserk? A 5 of 5 Berserk on Pumpkin Duke? Uh, tell me, do you just love it when it just stacks constantly? Just, I want to know. I mean, I, I, I'm I okay with having a 1 of 5 Berserk on my main. I, of course, I'd love higher, but... I suck at rolling. <laughs> what can I? What can I tell you? I'm gonna four or five. Though it's just, I can. I know how powerful it's gonna become. I know what this thing is gonna be able to do. Whoever has the five of five out there, you gotta, you gotta tell these other people how powerful this stuff is. <clears throat> Let them know <laughs> what you can do and what stacks of celebrate can do. Look at that. He's gonna have it up again. He's already fully revited again. He went off twice there. That's just crazy. Come on, celebrate. 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 Celebrate good times. Come on. Celebrate again. Celebrate again. <laughs> Dude, this is just awesome. It's... Ah, oh, this is going to be good. Oh, now we can do some Ds, I think. 
that's so that has 8,000 HP how much marksman have less HP so he's not gonna die as much as marksman was dying and look at the damage on marksman marksman was doing 1312 and what is pumpkin gonna be doing one more so just write it now even though that this is lower than marksman we are doing better across the board with this so, can we do it? Can we do D with this setup? I think we can. And I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Now the question is the order we should place stuff. So, I want to keep um, Pumpkin Duke in the middle. I think I want him by Druid. I'm going to want Engineer over here on this base. Engineer. And I'm going to want um, Lanacore here, I think. He can be on the lower level base and still fine, because he's really just meant to be there at the end. That's He's meant to go off at the end. That's, that's it. That's all that this character is meant to do. And that's why I don't really care to have him as much. If we can get another high DPS tune, Lanacore is going to become tower food. He's just going to go in the tower. He's going to be garrisoned up. <clears throat> I think this is going to hurt us a bit on EXP because we have so many garrisons, but it's going to help us guarantee the wins, so well, you got to go for what's going to get us some more wins because we really need to stop losing. So that's the uh, gist of that. We need to not lose. Exhibit A. <laughs> We need to win. And continuously win. Alright, is there something hiding back there? Nope, okay. Now we just need some bombs. And then we're gonna be good. Alright, I think we're gonna also be close to getting our celebrate, so let's just get that underway. One, two, three. I think we're just a smidge away from our celebrate. I mean, like, just a hair away. Just a hair away. Oh. Heck, we could do uh, we could do a, a dungeon. Potentially get enough badges to get the victory. So we just need to fight something with yeah, there you go. We do that a few times. This shouldn't we shouldn't die here. This, sh this should be uh, fairly good. Well, we don't have a Lanacore, though. But we do have Druid, our tank. <laughs> don't kill Mr. Come on, heal him. Heal him. Heal him. Druid. Druid. What do you... There you go. <laughs> Pumpkin Duke's like lost. He's like, okay, they destroyed that. Oh, okay, they destroyed that. Okay, they destroyed that. <laughs> he doesn't know where to go. There you go. Now we can move a little faster. Look how fast he gets his buff up. I love it. Oh, come on. It's why it's really great to get his uh, buff stacked on a troop camp. I'm really hoping we get the victory here because we really need those shards. If we get those shards, his stacks are going to be more likely to happen then too. Come on, shards. Oh, hey kitty. I'm trying to get shards here, cat. Can you give us a moment, kitty? Yeah, yeah. You want to play the game too? <laughs> cat wants in. Guess like I call dibs. Uh, yeah. There you go, kitty. And block the screen. <laughs> Alright, we're taking a look at what we're dealing with here. Here's our all revited up. We should potentially get one out of doing these dungeons, but it's not guaranteed. We are playing a wild card here.
but I really like how Pumpkin Duke just keeps this moving. It's going to make things faster when we're attacking things. Just we're going to be able to run around people's bases and just clear stuff up. So this is going to definitely increase the pace of the game once we get them up a bit more. But yes, we are... Man, this, the scouts come... But why are we not getting any shards? I know the chances of getting shards are really low. I know that, but I just hate that. Really need to increase the shard count. I like the amount of damage that just comes out. Pumpkin Duke, go on, die. It's out of the heal range. Interesting. Uh, now he's back in the heal range, but he's running around forever, so he's going to die. Ooh, we're going to lose lots of stuff this time around. Hopefully we we just ne we needed the shards. That's all we came here for. Just give us the shards. I don't care if all my heroes die. Just give us the shards, please. <laughs> please. I don't care if you kill off all my heroes. Just give me shards. That's all I want. Just so I can get to celebrate to make that D more of a guaranteed victory, please. <laughs> I mean, it's just shards. And that's why I don't like doing dungeons. I used to farm dungeons for shards, but I mean, it's really hard to get shards from dungeons. It's just, they really don't like giving them up. See? <laughs> Supposedly doing the skull is supposed to give you a better chance of getting them, but yeah, I disagree with that. Doesn't seem that way. Well, I guess we gotta run the chances, and next time we'll definitely have the shards required to get that going. <sighs> or we can do something I usually highly suggest against, but I'm just doing this because I am that desperate to get that one thing. Don't do this at home, kids. Do not do this. This is bad for your health. I highly suggest against it. I'm only doing it because I really need to, okay? Just don't do this. This is normally not suggested to spend honor badges for a hero for to get a little thing. It's really... This is not the best way to go about it, okay? I'm only doing this because time constraints, okay? Don't do this. <laughs> Boom, slime. <laughs> Don't do this at home, kids. There we go. Now we've got some more power. And also the movement speed is a big thing, too, because then they can chase after them, too, much better when they're coming down the hallway. Instead of just meeting up with them here, they can actually attack them all the way to there. Okay, so now we can do D. <laughs> Alright. Shh, I didn't do that. Forget this, okay, people? I never did that. <laughs> it's usually never suggested to do that, so... I didn't do that, okay? You didn't see a thing. I just, I was, I was desperate to get that celebrate up. Usually, almost never want to do that, and you usually never want to do multiple tho of those in a row, because it keeps getting more expensive and more expensive each time you do that. So, don't do that. It's bad for you. Yes, this is <laughs> this is really good. I think. Oh, we're gonna have to see how this works with those stupid uh, stu those griffins. But our towers are more powerful because it's got more range. Our celebrates are going to go off more often. As long as he can move his fat butt. Look at that. The druid is not going to be healing our, our hero here. He's, he's not healing engineer as much anymore. But engineer is not as key of a hero as he was before now because the combo of Pumpkin Duke and Thunder God. But I do not like the split of the heroes here. That means the Griffins are going to be on two towers instead of one. 
which is sucky. I didn't want no damage on either tower, but hopefully Celebrate goes off. Celebrate needs to go off. Celebrate needs to go off. Why are you running to the other side? There's still Griffins over there. I don't understand Pumpkin Duke's AI. We took a lot of damage on that one, but we're still okay. We're still in the running for this. They're going to go through that wall. That is horrible. And why are they targeting Engineer? Okay, but that's going to help a little bit. Not too much. A lot of them just took a good chunk of damage fighting off against the Lanacor, but we are hurting here. This is... I would have preferred them to hit the wall like that only on the, the last, absolute last uh, wave, but they, they did it now. We can three-man the last wave. What do you guys think? Can we three-man the final wave? Can we do it? I think we could three-man the final wave. As long as Thunder God doesn't go off here, you don't have to go off. Oh, I was, I was hoping for him to be revited up. We could three-man it as long as they don't spawn on the right. And they spawn on the right. But they're going down the hallway, so that's okay. Now, we need... Celebrate to stack up here. Got one level. Two. Okay, we're at two, but he didn't go off a ton. So, ah. Oh. Thunder, if Thunder God would have got off one more time, we would have been in the clear. We're that close. It was just bad luck. And we'll get rid of that bad luck uh, as soon as we get the next town hall. So, that issue is going to completely go away with the next town hall level. So. <sighs> and we'll have that tomorrow. Tomorrow that will be completed. Alright, let's try again. I'm, I didn't even see how much EXP we got. Did we get, get enough? Oh, so close. To just get him to that next level cap. Oh well, we'll have to do it here. We had two bad spawns there. One bad spawn would be survivable. Two becomes a bit harder. But, eh. You're going to get bad spawns, and that's why you need stronger heroes to survive bad spawns. And we're almost there. Oh, so close. Ah. Uh. Look how much faster we're killing these things now. I'm almost thinking I should take out Alanacor and throw in uh throw back in Marksman. And put Alanacor in that tower so we have extra damage, extra range, extra HP. On that one tower. Um <coughs> it's uh, maybe. Oof, I don't even know if they're going to make it to that tower. They did a little damage. Longer than I thought they would have. <coughs> we re revived it up, so we're fine for that next wave. Where are they coming from? Bad spawn. I wanted my tower to remain alive. But, Thunder God, what do you got to say about this? Please, Thunder God. Thunder God. Thunder God. Thunder God. There you go. That's somewhat good. And, uh, Druid should be okay. It's Druid. Druid, heal. Thank you. Do we need to get you uh, some more, uh... I thought you were level 4 heals. Okay, you're doing fine. Okay, we're gonna go off right away on Pumpkin Duke. Pumpkin Duke is going to say, what's up to these people? But Pumpkin Duke might die here, and that's gonna be a risk that we're playing. A chance Pumpkin Duke will croak here. And that is a risk we are playing. We risked it and we survived. Okay. We're looking for good for five so far. Do we get your butt back in there? Okay. Uh, this could be doable. 
We need Celebrate to go off here. Good. Now, another Celebrate would be exceptional. We did get a second Celebrate, but we did lose Thunder God, I think. But we have Engineer up, so it's fine. And ta-da! There we go. A good chunk of EXP. Okay, so now we know we can level up Pumpkin Duke soon. Thunder God is almost at his cap now. So we're going to be surviving more, and D is going to become easier now. And soon enough we'll remove the towers. The towers aren't going to be, I mean, the garrisons for the towers. We're not going to be needing them as much in just a moment. We do need to put this in the hole. We'll bring this up, but we got to remember to switch that back. Um... <coughs> We're just doing that because we have to defend our gold. So we don't have to do as much gold farming when we come back next. But yes, this is going to be beautiful. Why don't we put the bombs out so we're ready in case some someone decides to attack our stuff. They're going to be hurting. You no steal our gold. We murder you. Alright, so we are doing really good. Look at that pumpkin duke, man. That pumpkin duke. I'm telling you guys, that game changer. Straight up game changer. We're going to be moving on to E very quickly because of this hero alone. This is going to push us into the E range very quickly. That one thing has changed our game plan and put us on the fast track. Now, we're going to probably kill off Marksman at some point. Marksman, you're going to die. I'm, s I'm sorry. And probably going to kill off Shaman. Because we did not spend that much on Shaman. Shaman is just, you know, we spent, what, 4,000 HP on him, and that's it. He's not worth the might. Or she's not worth the might, whatever. I don't care. Marksman, same thing. You're not worth the might. I know we did spend a little bit more on Marksman, but Angel... Angel's got more to it. It matters more to me. I think. Maybe. Uh, it's between Angel and Marksman. One of those two might not remain alone. But I know I'm pretty much for sure that we're going to get rid of uh, Shaman. Shaman is gone. Ah, craziness. That is insane. I want to see him... Uh, let's do another arena battle and see what that little extra addition of just that one level of celebrate can do for us. Let's uh, go against this person. Okay, so they're sort of on our range. Let's uh, go up against them. And let's watch what Pumpkin Duke can do. Okay, we didn't run into them, and they do have an, a ninja, so they're going to be doing lots of damage. And is that... Uh, do they got a... Succubus in there. Uh, uh, yes. No. Can't tell. No, they don't. Okay, so we should be... Once we start stacking our buffs, and that should happen faster now, we should uh, potentially catch up to them. Come on, stack it. No. Ah, closer. Eh, one more level celebrate, and we'll be in the green... Let's try another person. I'm not going to do the person because <coughs> we don't have a <coughs> a succubus right now. A succubus paired up with a uh, pumpkin duke is really good because you can just then chain. Oh, they got a they got a pumpkin duke as well. They got a full legend team. We're fighting against people that we really have no chance of winning against until we get a ninja or. Um, Succubus, or even the combination of those two. <coughs> and we might want to start focusing on Arena to get a bit more on our badges, but yeah, I think we should focus more on getting our heroes ready for boss battles. And we're doing that right because our Pumpkin Duke. <coughs> we got a land of core, so we're, we are in the range of doing that now, so I think maybe we should start that up. 
So I think that's probably where we're going to head. But yeah, we got a pumpkin nuke with four or five berserk. That's crazy. That's that's crazy. I love it. This guy, we're going to level him up. He's going to be super powerful. Of course, we're also going to level up our Thunder God, too. Atlanticor, sorry, you're not going to get HP for a bit. You're going to stay capped where you are for a little bit. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Oh, he's going to get... He's going to level up quickly. D is going to be... Come uh, easily farmable for us. E. We're going to be in range for E very soon. Yes. This is craziness. This is good. I've done enough talking. You guys know what it is, though. Uh, for those that have had a pumpkin duke and got it, you understand what this changes. So I'll see you guys soon. See you guys soon. Have a good ones. Have a good ones.